Chantel, if I had a body like yours, I'd be out here showing out. You'd be surprised how often I hear that. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's your girl Chantel the model here for another week of body positivity training. That's what I'm gonna call this segment, body positivity training, because I keep bringing y'all knowledge on how to respect and love your body. I always get people all that always say, "Girl, if I had a body like you, I'll be walking around here naked. I'll be walking around here showing out." You will not. I hear that at least. 10 times a day i am not joking like even old women old women walk up to me tap me on my shoulder and say girl you don't know what you told me back there and i do know what i'm talking i am very humble when it comes to my body and what it looks like i've had i've been this shape since like the seventh grade and my mom always prepared me for the attention that it was going to get me the older i i became so you know me getting attention everybody looking at me um uh, everywhere i go it's not new to me and then now and in, th in these days and times it's so common because everybody's having surgery to have their body look like this so it's nothing new but when you see a natural woman just carrying it and carrying it well it draws that attention along with the aura she has around her and so that's what i get a lot but i want women to understand that on your journey you know to be in better shape to you know get to where you want to be and taking that first step on your journey you have to love where you are now you know i know a lot of people get discouraged you know in body part in certain areas of your body that you want to change you have to love yourself along the journey during the ups and downs because like i always say as us women, our bodies drastically change all the time when it comes from anything we can possibly eat, um, from having kids, menopause, just everything. Our body changes. And so we have to be prepared. We have to appreciate those changes along the way, along any journey that our body goes through. So appreciating your body is very important when it comes to any journey, any anything you're trying to change with yourself because you can lose a ton of weight. You can lose 75 pounds. And when you get to that 75 pounds loss, you can still not be happy with yourself. So being happy along the journey, loving yourself along the journey, all the roller coasters, all the ups and downs, heal, everything, loving yourself beyond the physical appearance is very important when it comes to body positivity. And I want to preach that so, so, so loud from the top of the mountain because a lot of people do not Just understand plus size that. women or plus size men that feel insecure about their body they are a uh, smaller frame or smaller people who feel insecure about their body too and i'm talking to you guys also so when it comes to body positivity no matter what size no matter what size range your pants may say no matter what the scale may say that you weigh people have body positive issues people have body image issues that they we deal with on a regular basis and i want to look like her i want to look like her i want to look like you it's so many things but there is only one person that looks like you and you have to rock that you just have to rock it like you have to kill it like you're walking out here you need to be walking in this world letting the world know that it's only I one that is earlier this week in our fitness group that states that loving yourself only when your body is in shape is like loving your child only when they're well behaved a lot of people was like dang you're right you think about it so you only love yourself when you get to the end when you're finally where you want to be that's the only time you love yourself. So that's like saying you only love your kids when they're behaving, when they're on their best behavior, only when company around. Because when it's just you and them, their kids are all over the place, then you're not a happy camper. So think about it in that mindset. You have to love yourself along this journey, regardless of where you Loving are. Loving your body only when it's in shape is not a good thing i.e. why i use the example of, of loving your children when they're well behaved so loving your body along the journey the peaks and valleys of the change that you're going to go through during your journey is very very important so you have to be one with your body because at the end of the day it doesn't matter how much weight you lose if you're not loving yourself within it's not gonna radiate 
outside. You People will be able to tell when you're not in love or infatuated with yourself. You need to be working on that every day. Standing in your mirror saying positive affirmations for yourself each and every day. I do it at least three times a day. You know, positive affirmations help um, mentally keep you on the right path of positive thoughts all the time. So saying positive affirmations are always good. And I'll drop a few down below that you can start saying every day that gets you on the, men on the right track of having positive thoughts and steering away from all the negative things that may be going on in your mind on a daily basis. So positive affirmations and staying focused on your journey um, to loving yourself and appreciating yourself and, you know, rewarding yourself even when you're having those small goals. That's, that's huge. Small goals make bigger goals. So rewarding yourself on the small goals and then accomplishing the bigger goals that makes the journey even more fun. I want you guys to stay encouraged on your journey on your fitness journey, taking a step forward into a healthier lifestyle because that's very important. I always preach to people, it's not that you're trying to lose weight, it's not that you're trying to change your body, it's that you're trying to be a better and healthier person for not only you, but for your family. Take your fitness and health very seriously when it comes to living a better lifestyle. Um, that's top range because I always say, you know, if you're not taking care of yourself physically or mentally how are you helping other people if you're not taking care of yourself physically or mentally how you're enjoying life so taking those proper steps to stay active to eat better to take your vitamins and supplements that help your body function correctly is important and staying positive during your journey you know never bashing yourself never downing yourself for the things that you don't accomplish never downing yourself for the days that you feel as though you may slip up and eat something that's not on your diet I hate saying the word diet, but for those who are, you know, trying to eat better and make better decisions on your, your meal plan, don't be so hard on yourself when one day you just out of the blue have something because you could just be having a hard day. So don't be double hard on yourself just because you're going through the motions. Like I said, enjoy your journey. You know, this is not a race. This is what, this is not a race to compete with others. This is a race to compete with yourself. This race is only for you. You are running this race with yourself, trying to become a better person for yourself. So take that in consideration when you're only looking at the finish line and um, getting there. You need to look at every step along the way, every part of this journey and be excited and be happy for it. And the days that you are not happy, the days that you're not excited about it, don't beat yourself up. You know, wake up the next morning and let's start again. Let's try again. All I'm asking for you to do is try. Try, try, try. That's all you can do in your fitness journey is try. This is only between you and yourself. So when you find yourself falling down, stand up, dust yourself off, and let's keep running this marathon because that's what it is. It is a marathon between you and the better version of yourself. So don't stop being hard on yourself during this journey when all you're trying to do is become a better person than you were yesterday. So I'm coming to you tonight to just give you some more tips and positive vibes when it comes to body positivity and loving yourself along your fitness journey, even if you haven't started yet. Continue to watch my videos, all my videos on YouTube. If you're just tuning in, go back and watch my videos because I always drop some great information on being positive and enjoying this journey for what it is. And, you know, even starting, I want to push more people to start on their fitness journey, no matter the size, no matter if you think it's too late. It's never too late. If you're still breathing, it's always a time to start on a healthy and the fitness lifestyle. Come join us. It's fun over here. It's fun over here. You'll be doing things that you never thought you can do again. So you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, take this time right now. Subscribe down below. Subscribe. And go back if you haven't watched the rest of my videos. Go back and watch them. I, I dropped some if great you guys things. aren't a part of my fitness challenge that I drop every Monday on YouTube, join in. It's fun. It's free. Head over to CurvesTheFit.com and I'm going to drop some of the new pieces that I have coming out. Um, So I'm excited, guys. Curves the Fit. I want this to be a fitness movement. I'm not just promoting my brand. I want to promote all fitness brands only because not just my brand that can help people have a better lifestyle is thousands of 
fitness brands out there and I'm going to bring them to you. If, if I can't help you find an avenue in fitness to get you moving, I don't know who else can. But I'm going to do my best to help you because I want everybody to get active. I want everybody out there having fun. So even if I got to go out there and twist a few ankles to find some activities that will help you, that is comfortable for you, that can get you up and out of that chair, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because the gym is not for everybody. You might want to dance. I'm not the best dancer, but you might want to dance and that's exercise. You might want to take start walking. You know, you might want to take some step classes. You never know what you want to do. There's so many avenues to fitness. All we want you to do is get up and move. I'm going to bring you different avenues to start you on your journey to fitness. I'm going to do some things that may be uncomfortable for me, but you might find it funny. But I'm willing to try it just so I can get you active and get you moving on this journey. So guys, until next time, if you haven't subscribed, like this video, go back and watch my other videos, like those videos, and tell me what you want to hear from me. Tell me what I can help you with. I am just here to help. I am here to shed light on this fitness world and get you in it because it's fun it's fun being healthy it's fun being able to do things that you never thought you can do before it's fun being out there being able you know it's just fun so come join me subscribe to my channel follow me on youtube which is here follow me on youtube follow me on instagram follow me on facebook i got a tiktok I'm still working on that but just follow me Go ahead and go over to CurvesToFit.com and subscribe to my newsletter so you can see the videos that I drop, how often I drop them. You can check out some of my apparel, shop my look. So guys, just stay tuned. I got some great things coming. So until next time, peace.